The BIRCH study was a, a, a phase two study that evaluated single agent atezolizumab for treatment of patients with non-small cell lung cancer. The interesting thing about the BIRCH study is it enrolled patients irrespective of line of therapy. So frontline patients were enrolled, second line and beyond. So it is a little different than many of the other um, immunotherapy trials that were going on at the time. All patients had to have tumors that expressed pdl one in order to enroll and that was the clincher, um, the results that will be reported at this year's meeting um, are in particular about the frontline cohort, those patients that had not received chemotherapy and who expressed high levels of pd one how they did uh, relative to patients who were um, second line and beyond um, previously pretreated patients. It's an important study. I think it shows us that for patients who express PDL1, they can get a res they'll have a response rate and a progression-free survival at least equivalent to what we can expect with chemotherapy. And you know, patients come to me at Sarah Cannon all the time asking for uh, for immunotherapy when they are first diagnosed with lung cancer. We know that immunotherapies are better tolerated. We know that uh, patients feel much better. They don't have to lose their hair. There are all sorts of side effects that they avoid. And so if you can assign an immunotherapy frontline for a patient with high levels of pdl one I think that's a win. In particular for patients who are not going to tolerate chemotherapy, it's um, in particular important to uh, identify those patients and treat them frontline with immunotherapy.